ever felt like getting rich is just for the lucky few? Well, I'm here to turn things around for you. Did you know that he also once became an employee while building his fortune? Want to learn his secrets? Stick around! Welcome to Financial Literacy. Here, we are dedicated and passionate about bringing you nothing but honest and straightforward facts about your money. We will help you take control of your finances and get you to the next level. Beginners or experienced, this is your one-stop shop for all things financial literacy. In this video, we will give you the 5 golden steps to get rich while working your 9 to 5 job. Talk about double security. I know you're ready, so let's start the video. Number 1. Embrace the I need to save mindset. Let's be honest, saving money can feel like a chore, and it's way less exciting than splurging on your favorite video game or the thing sitting in your online shopping cart for months. But I want you to know this, even Warren Buffett wasn't born with a stack of cash beside him. Even he, the high and mighty, started from something small like you and me, and his wealth built over time. To embrace the savings mindset is not some kind of magic trick. It's just consistency. Make saving a habit that you will actually stick to. Just like checking your social media first thing when you wake up. Oops. It doesn't matter how small you will save every week or every month. Start small and your consistent efforts will surprise you. So how do you save when you're starting with barely two nickels to rub together? Great question. Believe it or not, when Buffett began his financial journey, he didn't have a money tree in his backyard either. He started small and worked his way up. Many of his early saving ventures involved low-cost investments. Like those infamous pinball machines he and his buddy bought for local businesses. By consistently investing and reinvesting their earnings, they were able to grow their wealth. And lo and behold, Warren became the oracle we know and love today. Sure, Warren Buffett's pinball days feel light years away from where we are now. But that doesn't mean the idea behind it is obsolete. In the world of personal finance, we're all playing our own pinball game. So why not embrace your inner Buffett and get the ball rolling? Number 2. It's not just about looks anymore. Upgrade your brain. You know that feeling after a long and tiring day and your brain just feels all mushy? Now, how about feeling all day, even if you're not doing anything? Yeah, not exactly the correct recipe to get rich, you know. The truth is that even the legendary investor Warren Buffett did not have all of this information at birth. He devoured books non-stop and was an information sponge, learning new things all his life. Consider it the cerebral equivalent of the ultimate power boost. Imagine your brain like your favorite video game character. You wouldn't want them stuck at level 1, right? And you want to be the best, right? Well, do the same thing for yourself then. Seek knowledge consistently. Find your passion, the thing that ignites your curiosity, your true love. And no, not Tinder. I mean, coding, cooking, writing, animating, making music. Whatever that is, dedicate time, energy, and maybe a dash of cash to it. And who knows, that thing might be your golden ticket to wealth. Next, let's talk about self-improvement. You know, that old-fashioned New Year's resolution you promised you would do, but ended up doing nothing. I'll be honest with you, and it's for your own good. Booking a one-way ticket to Bali for some soul-searching isn't the best approach for self-improvement. We are talking about real actionable steps here. Think workshops, seminars, online courses, and even YouTube videos. Anything that will feed your passion and curiosity to get you moving in the right direction. But what if your current job feels more like a quicksand trap than a fulfilling career path? Been there. The good news is that you can be a secret agent of self-improvement. Invest in yourself on nights and weekends, honing your skills until you're ready to make that epic escape and land a dream gig. Remember, Warren Buffett wasn't the oracle of Omaha overnight. He put in the work, and so should you. Number 3. Play the long game. 
The road to becoming wealthy is not some get-rich-quick scheme that is all over the internet. Warren Buffett is all about the slow and steady approach to winning the race. When shopping, especially online, you wouldn't just buy now without doing a bit of research, right? You want to make sure that it's worth it. The same rule goes here. It's not a one-time thing. It's about building and investing in something that's worthwhile. This isn't your typical summer fling. Now that we know that patience is important, what is the purpose of compound interest? Say, for example, that you deposit some money into a savings account or other investment. Now, you leave it there the moment you see a small amount of interest rather than snatching it all. Like a snowball sliding downhill, that little bit of attention then begins to garner its own interest. It gets larger and more quickly the longer you leave it alone. Warren Buffett isn't promising that you will be a millionaire overnight. Building wealth takes time, just like saving up for your next beach trip. There will be ups and downs in the market, unexpected repairs, and bills. But the key is to be prepared for those rainy days and stick to your budget. Don't get tempted. The more consistent you are saving and investing, even if it's just a little bit at a time, the more compound interest can work its magic. Number 4. Surround yourself with the right people So, you know the drill. It's not just about you, it is also about the people surrounding you. As Warren Buffett said, find people smarter than you and learn from them. You really don't have to be a genius to be like Warren Buffett. As we said earlier, learning never stops. But you should be very, very picky about who you get financial advice from. It's like picking your thesis partner. You wouldn't want to pick someone irresponsible, right? You want someone who will motivate you and push you to be the best. The same rule applies here. Find people who are also working towards financial success and who can teach you and keep you on track. Maybe it's a friend who's great at investing, or a family who's an investor. So go ahead and build your A-team. Select the best members of your brain trust and begin your journey towards the ideal circle. And keep in mind, the monger to your Buffett may be standing right in front of you rather than arriving in a fancy Mercedes. To find people who won't put you on the spot, all you have to do is venture outside of your comfort zone. Well, that and a keen eye. And number five, stay true to your values. We are on the final step to becoming rich. We have covered a lot, but here's the last thing you should know, then you're good to go. Live within your means. Getting more money doesn't equate to automatically getting a rich lifestyle. Warren Buffett, even when he's already a billionaire, he is also famous for his down-to-earth lifestyle. He still lives in the same house he bought in 1958. And guess what? He drives himself to work and even eats McDonald's for breakfast. McDonald's! Now you don't need to deprive yourself of everything you enjoy. We don't do that. You can treat yourself sometimes. But avoid unnecessary spending. Figure out what's truly important to you and spend your money on those things. Is it traveling? Buying new books to read? Clothes? Living below your means doesn't have to be boring. You just have to be smart in spending your money. Well, that's everything. Isn't that simple? You don't have to do extravagant things. These five steps are all you need and voila! Look who's the next Warren Buffett! And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our following videos.